opportunities not yet but have we come a very long way particularly as a country of Ghana absolutely if I look at the kind of opportunities women had to express themselves when I was growing up as a child to where we are today we've come a very long way I mean today we've had a number of events celebrating International Women's Day and reminding our women to be bold for change this art exhibition is also an expression of being bold for change because I don't know about you but I think majority of people haven't really encountered women who are artists, who really put the, their work on canvas, um, who really put their work on paper and demonstrate it to the rest of the world. Um, so our women are being bold for change and saying, you know, the path we have chosen, these goddesses of art that we're celebrating today, are saying, I'm an artist and it's okay to be an artist. That's my form of expression and it's what I have to offer the world. And so I join everyone in absolutely ce celebrating them and really saying that they're really demonstrating their boldness for change and they serve as an example for the rest of us. When I think of the world bold, I think of different. I think of challenging the status quo. I think of creating a world that I know is possible but may not exist. And I think, you know, as women, we know our expectations of what the, our societies, our countries should look like. Um, and so by being bold for change, we should go out and create those worlds that we know is possible. Creativity, create what doesn't exist, but you know is possible and should be. That's what we should be bold about. Well, you know, we're part of a global community. International Women's Day is an opportunity for women all around the world to come together and celebrate the issues that matter to women. And they're common issues, they're common things. You know, when you read um, the stats of around, for instance, when you talk about women's participation in, in say, um, the field of work when it comes to, say, science and technology, I think the global average is about 27%. It's a similar number for Africa, which is about 30%. So you start to see that the trends are the same all over the world. And the more we join hands together as women, Women, to celebrate today and recognize the achievements of women, the more we were able to make women's achievements normal. Because that's what we're working for here. We want when woman, a woman comes up with a great piece of art, if she creates something new or she enters a new field of endeavor, we want it to be seen as normal. That it's We don't even have to challenge or question that it's a woman doing it. We just have to say, oh, wonderful talent, great job, and applaud the person without actually pausing that they're a woman. A number one um, ba barrier is mindset. You see, ultimately, um, we, it's easy to say maybe societally they're norms, but the norms are only norms that we accept, right? So which is why I always tell people that, you know, other people's bias is not your problem. What other people think you're capable of, what they think your, your limitations are, is not actually your problem. If we can individually free our minds and open our minds to the fact that we can achieve, achieve whatever we put our minds to, that fundamentally, that liberation that we get will ensure that we go on to achieve our dreams.